For the love of cigarettes, I screwed up, guys. Had six minutes of the vlog shot already today. It's currently two o'clock. Put it into the computer. The computer said there was a problem with the SD card. They nuked all the files, lost all the footage. So we gotta start from scratch. Four hours later than I got up, for sakes. Sucks, but we'll do this again, and welcome to my vlog. We got a bunch of camera battles set up. That's one thing I was doing this morning was camera battles. And this uh, ZE1 up against the ZI, uh, ZI10 and the ZX3 and you know all the different cameras and stuff and just making them fight and punch and kick and stuff. I'm doing a lot of video editing for that. And I had a really cute shot of this guy. Oh, you lost it? Yeah, I lost it. Yay! He was sitting up on the table here. No, he wasn't. Look, you can still see some of his fur on it. No, you can't. He was up on the table. No. Just doing his thing. No, he wasn't. And, uh, no. That footage is gone because that was cute footage. And then I had another one of him. No. Laying over here where he's all sleepy and he was like mouthing off to me because I caught him sleeping. I wasn't. And, or actually, I woke him up. He was pissed at me. You have no proof. I know you were. No. But. Yeah, no proof. Freak sakes. No proof. Freaking SD cards. Yep. You're such shit. I'm happy. But let's go outside and I'll show you what else I did that I lost. Freak sakes. Alright, well, we're outside now. And um, you'll notice I tarped up the. Uh, the lawn tractor the best I could with the tarp I had. It should be all right, I guess. It's not covering the deck completely, but frigate shouldn't really be a big deal. And um, yeah, it's covering up the engine at least, so. Also, I yanked the battery out of this guy, and uh, that was a bitch to do, because remember how you guys said, oh, just put some petroleum jelly on the terminals when you get it all hooked back up, and it'll keep it from corroding? Well, I think the other guy already knew that trick, because here is the battery charging away, currently at half amperage, and it's half full, whatever, and it was covered in that snot. Also in here, I hooked up my fan, so I can actually get some fresh air blowing around and stuff, get some air circulating, and uh, it doesn't make a difference it makes a big difference so I'm a little bit butthurt that I lost all that footage from today because it was pretty good and uh, all because of a corrupt SD card obviously something went wrong when I tried to transfer the files from the camera to the computer when I was doing the editing for the uh, for the camera battles and it corrupted the drive and then I had to like force it fixed and they ended up wiping the drive so that just right on sucks but what can you do, right? What can you do? Today is a hot and muggy day out. Holy shit, is it ever? You know, we got freaking blue skies everywhere. Freaking, well, not really blue skies. We're like gray skies. It's probably gonna rain tomorrow for freak's sakes. But what can you do? Oh, check out this tractor. This is the guy who showed up in the winter and did my uh, driveway that one time. He used that big badass of a tractor. Yeah. Friggin' industrial strength right there, industrial grade case tractor. Got the backhoe and the front end loader on it. And he used that guy to uh, pick up all that big snow in the front yard and throw it in the front yard. So, worked out good. I need one of those. Then again, after you guys watch me drive Billy's, um, you'd realize really quick that I suck at driving them. What Billy does in like 15 seconds would take me probably two hours, but uh, they're still cool. They're still cool. But at least I got my little guy over there, so that's all right. You know, it does the job for what I need it to do, which is probably gonna need to be done again real soon because she's getting taller. So yeah, I know the front yard definitely needs a cut. Holy shit, I was gonna let it grow a little bit more so that the grass tips grow seeds, eh? So that when I mow it, it'll drop seed on the ground, free seed. I like that kind, I like free. So also today is vlogging red shirt. Yeah, red shirt day. Anybody who watches Star Trek knows for a fact that, um, well, not really Next Generation or anything, but the old Star Trek with Kirk, if uh, they went down on a way team, they were like, okay, me, Spock, Sulu, and uh, uh, Bobson. Bobson was always wearing a red shirt. You knew right away Bobson was gonna die by some freak accident, either electrocuted or some alien monster jumps him. You know, you know, you know what I'm But he always got the crap kicked out of him, so. Yeah. Oh, Frig, I hope today's vlog isn't a sign of what's to come. Also, we heard in the news, uh, this is kind of shitty, but whatever. The government wants to have the sale of the ONR completed by 2013. They've already underway, already started the, uh, uh what should I call this? The, uh, they had adjusters in and stuff trying to find out the value of the company and then uh, they're gonna start putting it up for sale. To me, it sounds like they want to sell it off in chunks. So they're not gonna do like one buy, you know, 
one sale, no go to jail type thing. They're gonna basically divide it up. So they're gonna have the refurb department as one, the transportation as another, and the communication as a third. And they're gonna sell off each to an, each to a different party, unless one party wants all three, then they can buy all three at separate prices. But uh, it is confirmed the company is now for sale. Now, unless they sell the transportation and then they realize, oh, wait, refurb and communications is still making money. Maybe we should hang on to them and see what happens. Might be a good idea, you know? Might be a good idea. Maybe we should do this and they might just do it. But, but I guess we'll wait and see and uh, see what's to come. You know, future's looking dr dark and dreary, but uh, just got to keep our hopes up and keep smiles going and keep on blogging, I guess. And we'll see what happens. Friggin' sucks and stuff, but it's the way she goes, man. It's the way she goes. Penny Hoozle, I should go inside and see if the camera's going to dick over the footage again. If it does, then uh, I'm not going to use this camera. I'm going to use another camera. Freak sakes. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of pissed off that I lost all that footage. Really pissed off because I had some funny shit on there. And uh, Felix was really bitter with me too, and it would have been funny, And but oh well. Vlog got dicked, what can you do? I'm gonna head her back inside, let's go. There, I got him on the table oh. again. I didn't know you were coming back in the house. <laughs> no. Nope. You knew I was coming back, didn't you? No, I didn't know. Why are you on my table? It's comfy. I don't care if it's comfy. I don't care if you care, it's comfy. Well, you should care if I care. Well, I don't care. Because you're my kitty. No, you're, what the? You're not supposed to be on the table. Yes, I am. Silly kitty. Stop that. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Have at her. If it's comfy, it's comfy. It's probably cool, eh? Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. It's cooler. That's why you like it. Okay. Yeah. It's comfy. It's cool. Uh, it's my whatever. Bed. My bed. My it's a cooler surface. He enjoys it. Freaking have at her. I sure do. And they're in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, snack time. Chocolate Cheerios. Frig yeah. I'm going to go eat these and see if I can pull the footage off this camera. Let's go. Holy shit. Is it ever hot out today? <laughs> It's pretty sad that it's actually hotter in the bedroom than it is anywhere else in the house. Actually, it's hotter in my office. I need to get me one of these fans for in there. And I'm thinking I might pick up two. Actually, funny story. Uh, Dad's got a bunch of shit for me. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run a power line up behind this conduit box through this closet and then come up and we're going to put outlets all around the room using conduit to uh, basically cover it up. And um, I'm thinking, pretty off door, that uh, this will give me my own breaker for the computer room. And then I want to run a fan in the window pointing out and a fan in the window pointing in. So the one on the bottom will point in, one on the top will point out. And then we can get full awesome air circulation in there. And that room will be nice and cool. And I won't have computers overheating. Like down here, it's an easy 5 degrees difference right now in the living room than it is upstairs. But you turn on that great big heat generating son of a bitch, and that kills the friggin' uh, cool don't air turn around, down here. Don't turn around, don't turn around, crap. And uh, look at him now. Hi. Look at him. Like every surface he can lay on, he lays on. Yep. You're such a bad kitty. No, good kitty. <laughs> what are you laying on? What is this? A bill. Don't lay on that. It's comfy. Come on. No. Smarten up. No, I don't want to. It's comfy. <laughs> Come on. You're so bad. No, I'm good kitty. I'm a really good kitty. He's looking out the window there, checking to see what the frig's going on. He's pervert kitty, eh? No, I'm not. He likes to look out the window like an old man or something. I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, well, let's go inside. Yeah, still going. I got to head off to work soon, so freak's sakes. Girlfriend's actually in Sudbury right now. She just sent me a picture of Taco Bell. Thanks. <laughs> but, uh, well, actually, I got to go to my car. Toad dog. And get my lunch pail. There, I got my lunch pail. Oh, I was trying to get my lunch pail. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna make a lunch today for sure because it cost me like 18 bucks a day to go to the store and it's freaked that noise. So, I'm making lunch and have at her. And uh, he's probably gonna get himself all tangled up. Stupid dog. But it's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. Oh man, so pissed off at that camera. At this camera, I should say. Freak sakes. Oh well. At least we got some funny Felix footage after that. Leave it to Felix to always be the man on the camera, eh? Leave it to Felix. Alright, well, I'm gonna go mash all this shit together and make it into one solid video. And then uh, we'll go from there. So, hurry right on. Let's freaking do this. Alrighty, well, I got that computer doing the editing thing. I'm gonna go ahead and make a lunch. Because uh, if I have to freaking buy from the store, I'm gonna go broke. Got some sandwiches. Found some of these grape things in the fridge. Check this shit out, guys. It's like a, an awesome macaroni salad that the girlfriend's mom makes. It's a sun-dried tomato, son of a bitch. It's my favorite. I'm so grabbing some of this and taking it with me too. Right on. There you go. Lunch is made. Right on. Riddly D. Another things. 
Well, it's about time to get off to work, so uh, let's friggin' hammer down and goose some nuts. Whatever the frig that means. Alrighty, well, it's hotter than frig, but we gotta go to work. At least they have air conditioning over there, and uh, it won't suck. So, I forgot my phone. I'm gonna end up doing that a lot now that I can't put my phone on my belt because I'm so used to having my phone strapped to my belt. And I can't do that because my case broke. So I'm using the case I got on in my, e in my mail, my post office box for now, because um, I definitely want a case on these things. Which is why I don't understand why Apple goes all out making their phones look so pretty <laughs> when 99% of the population who owns an iPhone usually buys a big hefty case for it to enclose it to protect it. So they go and make this glass enclosed phone just so people go out and buy super heavy duty plastics to protect the glass. I got an idea. Make your phone out of super heavy duty plastics. Oh my God, brilliant. I should get an award. But uh, any hoozle, don't need to go on an iPhone rant. Enough people do that already, including me. Let's just get our asses into work. Frig yeah. hot in this car. I'm gonna head her inside. Let's hammer down. Talk to you guys in my break. Peace the frig out and stuff. All right, well, it's friggin' break time. Oh, we'll go for a strut. There's no wind. It's muggy as shit out. We'll go for a little walk. So, yeah, we've been waiting. Uh, I told you guys yesterday we went to the mall to look at that Samsung computer to get the specs off of it and all that because the girlfriend wanted to buy a new computer to uh, for mobility gaming and stuff. And um, she wanted to wait for the MacBooks. Well, today was D WWDC, the big conference from April. Uh, April? Holy shit. Big conference from Apple. There we go. And they're revealing all their new products. No, no new iPhone yet. But they've announced by October we should have iOS 6.0, which will have God knows what for features. And um, they drop the new MacBooks. Now, if I'm gathering this right, I didn't watch the video feeds or anything. They're going to be keeping the classic MacBooks in there, like the i5s and stuff, with the older setups. I think they had ATI cards in them and stuff like that. And, or the NVIDIA. I can't remember now. But, uh... And the stock 15 inch came with actually the Intel 3000 GMA card, which is god awful shit. But whatever. And they want now, they, it looks like they lowered the price because it was used to be 1300 bucks for it, now it looks like it's $1,100. So I don't know. But they released their new lineup, which is running the third Gen i7. Uh, lowest model is a 2.3 gigahertz quad core uh, in, Intel i7 with uh, 8 gigs of RAM, 250 gig uh, SSD, and uh, the GeForce NV. NVIDIA 650, probably with Optimus, which is that new uh, video architecture. Also, the display is Retina. So instead of being, what is it, 19, uh, something like 18.4, whatever it is, it's 2880 by 1900. So instead of having 900, uh, 900 uh, pixels, uh, wide or sorry top to bottom progressive now it's 1800 progressive so the first question the girlfriend asked me was uh do you honestly think that the uh, nvidia 650 can do that kind of a resolution because it's kind of a super high res eh and my response back was better question do you think games are programmed to run at that resolution right now apple is the only company that is running this resolution this retina display there is nobody else doing it so chances of programmers developing games in the past like world of warcraft and diablo and i'm trying to think of games that actually run on apple computers like the sims for them to have made an ultra high res retina display pack for their games is slim to nil now they might do it in the next update or something but as it stands right now i think the best you're going to get out of like the sims and uh friggin Diablo 3 and all that is going to be uh, 1080p. That's it. Which would look pretty sharp, don't get me wrong. But like, if you don't have the high-res texture pack, you can't use the high resolution. That's the given, you know? Games like Minecraft and stuff will probably look like balls on there, but hell, 
the game wasn't meant to be all graphic intense so it's just the way she goes but the base model retina display laptop is $25.99 $2600 are you on glue if I had $2600 I'd buy the 17 inch Alienware with a decent display, the 1080p display, because that's all I need. It has the i7 quad core, 3.4 gigahertz, you know, 16 gigs of RAM, solid state drive, and a hard drive. It has a 250 gig solid state drive with a one terabyte hard drive on it for media, faster than frig, and it would be able to play video games like, a, like no other. It's got a Blu-ray player, so it will play Blu-rays, no problem. I thought they were redoing the architecture of the machine. It looked kind of like the same machine as it was before, so maybe I something I don't know but uh, I'm not all that impressed with it not really all that impressed so I don't know of course all the Apple fanboys are like holy crap Apple once again lifting the benchmark and blah 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 and it's like all they did was made a retina screen everything else you could find in computers already so what the cock are they tooting their horns about you know making a big fuss yeah we, we revolutionized computers by doubling their prices and making people go bankrupt in a shitty economy that's Freaking brilliant, guys. Way to go. You know, I really wanted to get a cheap MacBook so I can do tutorials on Final Cut and iMovie. Because my little white book, let's face it, it doesn't cut the cheese anymore. It's friggin' done. It's spent. It's game over. It's slower than molasses in the winter. And uh, if I'm running a screen cap program alongside um, iMovie, it just chugs. So I was debating on picking up one of those i5s, but looks like they're going to be running them for another couple cycles. So I don't know now. Might just say, sorry, Apple people. Can't help you. You'll have to go talk to somebody who's Apple friendly to give you tutorials because um, I, I don't really want to waste my money on a MacBook. I was thinking about the Mac Air even would do the job, but holy shit, they still want a grand for those. So I don't know. I don't know. It's stuff I'm going to look into, but uh, probably not get too involved in. Girlfriend's kind of PO'd, but uh, uh, knowing her, she'll end up buying that Samsung at the uh, feature shop and rock and roll with that. So right on. But uh, any hoozle, my break's almost over. I should head her back inside. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Also, I don't see any. I don't see any, but we apparently have shads coming in. The guys on the weekends found shads, so I don't know how much longer I can drive the white night, but you never know. You never know because uh, shad flies love that freaking thing because it's so bright. So the moment the shads show up, I gotta park it again. Freak sakes. Any hoozle. I should head her inside, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Alrighty, well, it's like friggin' lunchtime, and I'm having a hell of a time staying awake. Friggin' I'm tired, and I don't know why. Well, wait, I was up at 10 o'clock this morning, so... Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. Don't like being awake too, too early, because then I can't get through my night shift, and then I end up staying up all night playing video games on the computer, so frig, it's uh, a lose-lose situation. So yeah, I was chatting with a girlfriend about the whole MacBook dilemma, and she's like, maybe I'll just get a MacBook Air, and then she does the math and realizes for the same price as a MacBook Air, she can buy a better laptop that runs Windows. So yeah, it's like, if you want ultra portability, like she has her iPad just sitting on the couch and surfing the internet, but if you want the ultra portability of a slimline MacBook or a slimline Ultrabook even, uh, you gotta sacrifice gaming performance. Like the i7s they come with are really slimmed down, low power. Was it low voltage? Uh, low voltage core friggin' i7s, so they're designed to maximize battery life. Still operate on the i7 architecture, but uh, had a much lower clock speed. Ah oh, well. I'm sure she'll think of some. I myself, you know, the, the Acer is an old machine. My Acer timeline, I bought that. Uh, last year, probably around this time, I think I was uh, leaning up on that wall and I did a video saying, which would you choose between Acer and Gateway? And the Gateway was an i3, but it had a faster clock speed, but it was a dual core, that's it. And the Acer was a t i5, the one I bought, which was a quad core. And the Gateway came with six gigs of RAM, the Acer came with four. The Gateway came with a 750 gig hard drive, the Gateway came with a 500. The Acer, however, had the ATI 5470 video card, and the Gateway had the NVIDIA 320. So it was like, which one would you choose? And a lot of people said the Gateway, a lot of people said the Acer. I did the math and I realized, holy shit, what I want to do, I need processor power. So the i5 all the way. Then little did I realize afterwards that Sony Vegas 10 will not use process threads. It'll only use processor cores. So if you have a dual core, like my i5 is a dual core two thread, so it simulates quad core. But uh, as far as Sony Vegas is concerned, she's a dual core and that's it. As far as Sony Vegas is concerned about my i7s at home, they're quad core. 
that's it. They will not use the threads. So what the processor goes and does is it'll shut down the threads and run it as a dual core turbo boost from 2.23 gigahertz, or sorry, 2.26 gigahertz up to 2.5 gigahertz for the i5 and the i7 shall shut down uh, all the threads and then turbo boost the four cores to 3.8 gigahertz and then just give her stink. So that's pretty decent, I like that. What I don't like is the fact that like at home, rendering a video, I'm usually 75% or 0 0.75 to 1. So it usually takes me 3 quarters of the time of the video. So if it's like a 10 minute video, it takes me 7 minutes and 30 seconds to render it. Where on the Acer, if it's a 10 minute video, it takes me 20 minutes to render it. Which I guess is not that bad. You know, for a mobile answer, like I'm 90% of the time I'm rendering, I'm rendering my videos at home. I barely use the thing for on-the-fly editing. I might compile a couple clips at work here and there, but that's about it. But uh, it'd be nice to have a little bit more horsepower, but oh well, we'll think of something. But right now that I know that I'm good, but there's a, oh, it's still up in the air if I'm gonna lose my job or not, but uh, there's a chance. Um, I'll be cutting my spending down to nothing, you know. Still gonna try and do the Dominican trip because I need that. But uh, as far as buying a new laptop goes, I'll make the Acer last for freak's sakes. It's been a great machine so far. Hasn't given me any troubles. It's been rock solid, you know. I've got the SSD in it. I've got the 120 gig Mushkin into it. Works awesome. The video games, it plays video games no problem. Well, the games I play, which is what, like Minecraft, Diablo 3, and Battle... Well, it doesn't play Battlefield worth a shit, but uh... Plays Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, okay. So that's all right. Well, the demo it played when they had that free weekend of uh, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. You guys remember that on Steam? Maybe? No? But um, I downloaded the demo and gave her a stink, and uh, it worked fine for that weekend. So I don't know. I'm tempted to buy that game because it's fun. It's fun as hell. But uh, anywho, guys, it's friggin' lunchtime. I should get something to eat. I should go back in and eat, and then uh, go from there. Maybe make a couple coffees. Wake my friggin' ass up. Holy shit. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys on my break. Until then, haste the frig out and things. All right, well, it's like 10 o'clock now. Just came up for my last break of the evening. Noise up, bud, noise up. Um, not seeing a lot of shad flies. So, seeing a lot of little bugs and stupid things, but not really any shad flies, so. I don't know. I guess we don't have to worry about them yet, but uh, you know they're coming. Oh well. When they come, they come. They usually last about three, four weeks and... Seriously, bud? Holy shit, just goosing her. And people bitch about Honda Civic exhaust, yet motorbikes can do that and it's free. It's fine? Come on. I'm sure they can silence those things somehow. So far tonight's been a pretty dead night, pretty quiet. Uh, big, well there was a telephone outage up in a remote location uh, due to a tree falling over and taking out the hydro line, the telephone line, and the coax cable line. So, yeah, good times. So, a pair of teams have been dispatched and hydro's back up, just the other two aren't. So, that's the way she goes. They'll get her fixed. So we, it's what we do, what we do. Let's go see if we have any shad flies on the car. You never know. Nope. No shad flies. They don't like my car yet. It's because they're not around yet. Bring it. So yeah, I was talking to my dad and he's gonna talk to the body man there. Um, I'm wondering if the good body man's gonna give me the same deal as he did with the tempo. Because of the tempo, well, I paid $300 for the paint on the tempo. But uh, he'll probably charge me $500 for the Trans Am if I paint it white. If I change the color, he's gonna want to do everything inside the engine bay, inside the door jams, basically every nook and cranny and he's gonna wanna change the color. So if I say change to black or blue, he's gonna wanna do everything and make it look pro. Because even though this guy is like a, a home body man type deal, he does like to do professional work and he doesn't like leaving things out. I know for a fact he wouldn't be able to get me my decal kit, but luckily I know a guy. So I'm pretty sure, like you've guys seen the Falcon that Billy built. Um, I'm like, 900% sure that Billy could replicate that bird, no problem, in a decal. And the Trans Am in that font. Actually, looks like I already need a new sticker for Trans Am. Look, it's all friggin' shit on. Son of a bitch. I should get Billy to make me a whole new decal set. Find out what he'll charge for that and uh, see if he can do her up because, uh, yeah, if I get it painted, if I, if I got it painted black, I'd put a maybe gold Trans Am and gold bird on the, uh, on the side. And there is actually one in the front. I didn't realize it, but there's one right there on the nose of the car. So I didn't realize that until uh, a couple days ago. So I'd see if Billy could maybe stab those on there. You know, I don't know if he has any gold, any gold uh, thing. Uh, whatever vinyl wrap or whatever he calls it, but uh, if he doesn't, you know, we can go silver or whatever. I just figured gold with the gold rims, 
car is painted black. It would look pretty sweet, but I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to get back to me. And then uh, I might get her resprayed. Get her looking all pretty again. Then once I get that coolant problem solved, I'm pretty sure you guys are right. It's the relay for the thermostat, or relay for the fan. It cocked me over six years ago, and it's probably cocking me over again. Not sure why those things burn out. I don't even know what the freaking thing looks like, so I'm going to have to look it up on the internet so I know what the part looks like, so I know what I'm looking for under the hood. And then uh, see if I can freaking order one up somewhere and stab it in. And then bring the car up to whatever the thermostat is, 75 degrees, whatever the fan kick on is, and uh, see if the fan kicks over. Somebody mentioned uh, turning on the AC. Problem is, I got rid of the AC in the car. When I, when I bought it that summer, um, the AC clutch, I guess you call it, was seized. So they didn't want to repair it. They had to replace it due to environmental. I've mentioned this many times in the vlogs before. I had the choice of bringing it from the R12 that it was to the R34A and that was about $3,200 for the retrofit kit because it was a special kit or $35 for a delete pulley bracket thingamajig. So I said you know what I never had air conditioning in a car before because my tempo had AC but it didn't work with a shit. Focus never had AC. It was as base as base can go. Like that car was so base they called rear defrost a feature for freak's sakes, just so they could have something on the pamphlet. So, I basically uh, never cared for AC until I got the G6, and then, now I love it in the car. But, uh, basically, um, we had the retrofit kit put in. Retrofit kits? Sure, go with that. And then I uh, went to the junkyard and found a scrap Trans Am, and I bought the panels to replace the vents on the side, because originally, your heater vent was in the center, and on the sides is where you had your air conditioning vents. Two separate vents, it doesn't make sense. So theoretically, if you could somehow do it, you could have the heater on and the AC going at the same time so you could be heating and cooling the cabin. It's dicked. But, uh, yeah, I basically covered those up with the uh, non-AC plates and went with that. Like, frig, I bought the car for $3,500. Like, I was going to spend another $3,200 just to have a cold a cold interior. <laughs> Come on. But, uh, so, yeah, we just basically put a delete pulley in and, and I noticed she picked up a lot of speed after that because, holy shit, I wasn't dragging a dead clutch. So it was right on. So, yeah, a little bit more history for you, which I probably covered in Vlog 500 on the history of my Trans Am video. But, um, ah, it's always good to get a little bit more information in case you're uh, unaware and stuff. So right on. But, guys, I think I'm going to shut the vlog down here. You're all probably wondering how my lawnmower tractor battery thingamajig worked out. That'll be in tomorrow's vlog and if it doesn't rain, which I'm looking in the sky right now and I don't see a single star which means we're sitting under overcast and assuming by the cloud cover over there we're sitting under overcast. I don't think we're gonna be mowing tomorrow if it rains but we do need rain to cool this place down and make the grass grow taller but uh nanny hoozle. I'm gonna shut the video down here for tonight guys. We'll take care of the rest of this tomorrow so if you like today's video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button lets me know you like the video and i like that and if you have any questions comments concerns about today's video you know where to leave them the old comment section below and you know me i respond to all comments that i can you know hopefully i have the time to do it and i usually do so right on but uh until next time guys keep on vlogging